Hello everyone, I'm Sir JC and you are watching Research Made Easy. For today's video, we are about to discuss the differences between qualitative and quantitative research. For us to easily understand the differences of qualitative and quantitative research, we will be using the following criteria. First, type of data. Second, objective. Third, sample. Fourth, data instrument. Fifth, data gathering. Sixth, data analysis. And seventh, outcome, type of data. In qualitative research, it collects words or descriptive data. It anchors narration of experiences and stories. Whereas, in quantitative research, it collects numbers or numerical data, which are relevant for statistical variables or tools. Sa qualitative research, ang type of data na makukuha mula sa mga participants ay dapat nasa mga narratives of experiences or stories, or what we call observable descriptions. Maaaring gumamit ng mga documents, litrato at mga larawan sa qualitative research. With that, this research is more on writing and reading and less on computations. Ibig sabihin, it is more on words. Ang quantitative research naman, ang data na makukuha mula sa mga respondents ay dapat nasusukat, maaaring bilangin at kalkulahin. This research is less in writing and more on computations. Ibig sabihin, it is more on numbers since it aims to solve the problem using statistical tools. Therefore, qualitative research uses descriptive data, which means the data is expressed in words, images, or observations. This type of research focuses on understanding experiences, behaviors, or social phenomena in depth. The data is non-numerical and often involves descriptions, interviews, case studies, or narratives. Examples of data in qualitative research are interview transcripts, field notes, and photos. On the other hand, quantitative research uses numerical data that can be measured, counted, and analyzed statistically. The data is more structured and objective and often collected through surveys or tests. The goal of quantitative research is to quantify the problem by way of generating numerical data or data that can be transformed into usable statistics. Examples of data in quantitative research are test scores, survey responses with numerical values or measurements. Objective Qualitative research aims to understand the human mind. Whereas, quantitative research aims to prove or disprove a hypothesis. Walang kinalaman sa mga hypothesis ang qualitative research. Ang layunin mo dito ay mag-explore at kumuha ng masusi o detalyadong impormasyon o paliwanag tungkol sa pag-uugali ng tao o mga karanasan ng mga participants gamit ang kanilang mga narratives at paglalarawan. Sa quantitative research naman, mayroon tayong dalawang hypothesis. Ang nala hypothesis ay isang negatibong hypothesis at ito ay ang hypothesis na nais mong patunayan na mali o hindi totoo. Samantala, ang alternative hypothesis naman ay ang hypothesis ng researcher na siya ang nais patunayan na tama. Ang layunin mo ay magbuo at magtest ng mga hypothesis gamit ang mga nakolektang numerical data. Sa pamamagitan nito, maipapakita mo ang relationship effects, and influence ng mga variables sa isa't isa. Therefore, qualitative research aims to explore and understand phenomena in depth. Its objective is to gain detailed insights into people's experiences, behaviors, or social context. The focus is on understanding how and why something happens rather than measuring or quantifying it. Researchers using qualitative methods seek to develop a deep, contextual understanding through interviews, observations, and narratives. Quantitative research, on the other hand, focuses on measuring and quantifying variables. The objective is to identify relationships or cause and effect links between variables using numerical data. 
It seeks to test hypotheses or theories and generalize results across larger populations. Sample Qualitative research uses small sample size that represents a target population, whereas Quantitative research uses large sample sizes that represents a target population. Ang qualitative research ay limitado sa ilang participants or informants. Hanggat ang mga ito ay qualified ayon sa mga pamantayan ng mga researchers, maaari silang isama sa research conduct. Usually, ang bilang ng mga participants ay mula 30 pababa, depende sa nature ng research problem. Ang quantitative research naman ay nangangailangan ng malaking sample size. Gumagamit ito ng iba't ibang techniques sa probability at non-probability sampling upang makuha ang tamang bilang ng mga respondents. Maaaring mag-iba ito mula 30, 100 hanggang 1,000 na mga respondents depende sa nature ng research problem. Sa quantitative research, mas malaki ang bilang ng mga respondents, mas magiging reliable ang resulta ng research. Therefore, qualitative research typically ensures a smaller sample size because the focus is on gaining in-depth, detailed insights from the limited number of participants. The goal is to explore experiences, behaviors, and phenomena in a rich and comprehensive way. Quantitative research, on the other hand, generally needs a larger sample size because it aims to measure and analyze effects or relationships within a population. A larger sample allows for more reliable results. Data Instrument In qualitative research, we utilize interview questions, which anchors open-ended questions which can be structured or unstructured. Whereas, in quantitative research, it utilizes questionnaires, rating scales, and checklists. These are all close-ended questions which can be standardized or structured. Interview questions ang gamit natin na tool para sa qualitative research. Dahil dito, kinokollect at nire-record natin ang mga observable descriptions mula sa mga participants. Ang open-ended questions ay ang mga tanong na tumatalakay sa paano at bakit, or how and why. Ang mga tanong na ito ay nangangailangan ng masusing pagpapaliwanag or elaboration of answers. Kahawig ito ng pagsasagot ng isang essay. Maaari mong gamitin ang mga structured interview questions at unplanned questioning depende sa uri ng data gathering mo. Sa ganitong research, kadalasan ang researcher mismo ang nagsisilbing instrument. Quantitative research, on the other hand, ay nagbibilang ng numerical data. Ang mga close-ended questions ay ang mga tanong na may pagpipilian or predetermined answers. Halimbawa, ang rating scale or Likert scale na binuo ni Rensis Likert ay nagpapahintulot sa mga respondents na i-rate ang kanilang antas na kasiyahan o hindi kasiyahan o pagsang-ayon o hindi pagsang-ayon gamit ang numerical value. Halimbawa, 1 bilang pinakamababa at 5 bilang pinakamataas. Ang mga instrumentong ito ay kailangan ma-validate muna ng mga experts bago gamitin. Dito, ang nakakarami ang laging panalo. Wala din po wang sa quantitative research ang pagpapaliwanag ng mga sagot kung kaya't walang paano at bakit kundi numerical data lamang. Therefore, in qualitative research, it uses open-ended descriptive instruments like interview questions. On the other hand, Quantitative research uses close-ended numerical instruments like questionnaires, rating scale, and checklists. Data gathering procedure In qualitative research, data gathering procedures are formal and informal interview, focus group discussion, immersion and observation, which all requires more exposure. Whereas, in quantitative research, it only requires survey which can be done face-to-face -face or online. Sa qualitative research, 
ang pagkokolekta ng descriptive data ay maaaring gawin sa pamamagitan ng interview at pakikinig sa mga kwento at narrative ng mga participants upang mas maunawaan ang kanilang pananaw or perception. Ang immersion at observation naman ay tumutukoy sa pagpaparticipate sa kanilang buhay at gawain upang tunay na maunawaan ang kanilang sitwasyon sa actual na panahon. Ang FGD or Focus Group Discussion ay ang proseso ng pagtitipo ng mga participants at pagtatalakay ng research problems sa kanila. Ito ay nangangailangan ng mas maraming koneksyon at contact sa participants. Dahil ang layunin ay mangalap ng detalyadong impormasyon, mahalaga din na magbuo tayo ng rapport o magandang ugnayan sa kanila. Sa quantitative research naman, ang survey ay maaaring gawin gamit ang pen and paper or online na pamamaraan. Karaniwan, wala o limitado ang interaction or contact ng mga respondents sa researchers. Therefore, in qualitative research, data gathering is more interactive, flexible, and focuses on gaining detailed insights from participants using interviews, observations, and focus group discussion. However, quantitative Uh, research requires more structured, focus on gathering numerical data through survey, tests, and experiments that can be analyzed statistically. Data analysis. In qualitative research, we are non-statistical. That's why we will be anchoring the thematic analysis. Whereas in quantitative research, we are statistical. That's why we will be using statistical methods. From the data collected in qualitative research, we categorize them or aayusin natin ang mga ito ayon sa mga tema. They will be presented through charts with paragraphs. Whereas, from the collected data in quantitative research, isa sa ilalim natin ang mga ito sa statistical treatment o pagsusuri gamit ang mga statistical tools. They will be presented through tables with data. Therefore, in qualitative research, data analysis is more subjective, focusing on finding patterns, themes, or meanings in non-numerical data through methods like coding, thematic analysis, and narrative interpretation. However, in quantitative research, data analysis is more objective and uses statistical methods to analyze numerical data and test hypotheses focusing on patterns, relationships, and generalizations. Lastly, outcome. In qualitative research, we are reliable but with high validity. Whereas in quantitative research, we are also reliable but with high replicability. Ang qualitative research ay mataas ang validity dahil ang mga data ay kinokolekta at iniinterpret sa isang personal at mas natural na pamamaraan. On the other hand, ang quantitative research naman ay nagpapahintulot ng replication or parallel study. Maaaring isagawa ang mga parallel studies sa ibang setting o maaaring magsagawa ng pag-aaral na nakatutok sa ibang mga variable ng parehong research problem. Therefore, qualitative research excels in validity because it involves personalized and context-sensitive data collection. The researcher's active involvement helped to interpret data in a way that captures the true essence of the participants' experiences, leading to a deeper, more valid understanding of the subject being studied. Quantitative research, on the other hand, is more about standardization and replication and generalization. It can be easily replicated in different settings or with different variables, allowing researchers to test hypotheses in multiple contexts and confirm the reliability of the findings. With that, qualitative research is about using a naturalistic approach to explore human behavior, issues, and experiences. It relies on words and descriptive data to gain deeper understanding of the complex realities of people's lives, allowing researchers to uncover the reach and contextualize insights that are often not possible with quantitative methods. On the other hand, quantitative research is a structured and systematic approach that uses numerical data, 
to test hypotheses and examine the effects, impact, and relationships between variables. By analyzing this data statistically, quantitative research allows researchers to draw conclusions that can be generalized to larger populations and can be used to either confirm or challenge existing theories or assumptions. And that's it for today's video about the differences of qualitative and quantitative research. I hope you learned a lot. See you in our next video.